Joining us now is Aaron Freeman, an attorney and former deputy prosecutor in Marion County. That's where this happened. Uh, Aaron, thank you so much for being with us. What kind of consequences could this father face? Because the video is extremely jarring, extremely scary, but no shots were fired. No one was hurt. Yeah, you cannot watch that video and just not, you know, thank God this little this little boy is is OK. Um, you know, that first and foremost. Um, dad, dad's got some uh, real criminal liability here um, in Indiana. Neglect of a dependent uh, is a level six felony for us. Uh, that gives a range of between six months and two and a half years. In addition to that, um, and it could have been worse. I mean, God forbid, uh, the, the, you know, this toddler was injured or worse. Uh, obviously, then the, the crime gets worse. Uh, the punishment gets worse. But um, he also, I, I'm assuming, is going to face what is called a CHINS proceeding here in Indiana, Child in Need of Services. Uh, our Department of Child Services, I'm, a, I'm very positive, will be involved in this case. I, I want to ask you about that. Uh, but, you know, back to this video, you know, as you said, it's so hard to oh. watch, particularly when he points the gun at, at himself. What do prosecutors need to prove for this father to be held accountable? Do they need evidence that, that he gave this gun to the child or, or is this video, this doorbell video going to be enough? No, I mean, in Indiana, uh, the prosecution simply gonna have to have to show that this, um, that the, the adult here had possession, um, you know, had some custodial uh, reason to have this child, whether, um, you know, he accepted it when he was watching the child for somebody else or as his own child, you know, a legal obligation, whatever that is. And then that the child ob obtained a gun and, and in Indiana, neglect of a dependent is, um, you know, a situation that endangers the life and health and safety of a child. And clearly you have that here. Uh, again, thank God that it didn't get worse. Uh, not that you can watch that video and not, again, your gut just, you know, has a reaction to it. But, you know, a level six felony, uh, again, six months to two and a half years is what he's facing criminally. You know, so, Aaron, we, we know that, that this father has, has told investigators the gun wasn't his. Uh, if, tr if that is, in fact, true, does that factor into his potential consequences? Or, you know, what, what happens if it turns out that the gun is, in fact, his? Does that factor into his potential consequences? So in Indiana, it's a knowing or intentional standard. So the state is going to have to prove that this uh, parent knowingly or intentionally endangered this child's life. Um, I mean, again, the facts will come out and it's always a good thing to say, let the investigation play out, even as terrible as this video is and see what the evidence is. Uh, my understanding, uh, you know, this defendant has a as an initial hearing on Thursday of this week here in Marion County, Indiana. And I'm assuming we're going to learn a lot more at that time. But whether he owned a gun, didn't own a gun, uh, it was his, it wasn't his in any measure. This young toddler has no business uh, having access to a gun. And, you know, that's on dad. If dad has a defense, uh, he's going to need a good lawyer to prove it. Absolutely. Uh, last question for you, Aaron. You know, you, you alluded to this before. How likely is it that that child services will not only get involved, but stay involved in this case? My hope is they're already involved. My hope is that there's already a proceeding and, uh, you know, ongoing or will be very soon. And my hope is that they they are in this for a very long time. Um, no child should be put in this situation. Zero. Yeah. And we just want that little boy to be OK. Attorney Aaron Freeman, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Well, this is thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.